Hello, this video is about how to dismantle and reassemble a Frigidaire gallery uh, washer-dryer combination unit. I'm quite confident that the method to take this one apart is almost identical to many, many, many other combination washer-dryers out there. So uh, even if yours isn't a Frigidaire, this video may help you. And it took a little bit of fiddling around to try and figure out which screws to take out first and whatnot. I've got the actual front cover that covers the dryer drum. Uh, that front cover with the door on it is off right now. Um, but I'll just, uh, I'm in the process of reassembling, but I thought I'd show you the, what you need to do to get it apart. So here's the top of the washing machine, and there's the panel between the washing machine, the dryer, and there's the dryer. So this panel has to come off first. So right below the, um, you know, the rinse, pre-wash, soak, regular soak, that cycle button, there's a screw right there. Take that black screw out, it goes black. And uh, same on the other side. And then this panel comes down. It just just drops down like that. And uh, pleasant surprise was on the inside of it is glued an envelope. And inside that envelope is the electrical schematic. So if I ever have any problems, I'll know where to find it. So once that panel is off, there uh, this again is the uh, control uh, panel. Right below that, there's a screw here and there. And they both need to come out. One's a black Phillips screw, that one, and one's a big metal-y metal screw. So uh, anyway, they both need to come out on each side. And then this whole unit lifts up. Oh no, sorry. It pulls down. I think it pulls. Yeah, it goes there. So, so when you pull the screws out just like that, you lift the bottom out just a little bit, and it drops just that much. So there it's up. Pull the screws out drops just that much and then it swivels out. When it swivels out you're going to see this connector right here on the on the right side. Now mine is a three wire connector and um, uh, I'm not sure if uh, you know, sometimes these dry dryers only have a two wire connector. If it's a two wire connector it doesn't matter which way it goes back together like when you unplug it and when you plug it back in it doesn't matter. The three wire ones I think it is important but I'm looking at the connector right here, and it's flat. Oops, sorry, it's flat on this side, rounded on this side. So I think it will only go back together one way. Um, the other thing I noticed is there's a uh, a zip tie around here, and that zip tie keeps these little these little tabs in the the locked position. So when the new connector or the, when the door connector comes on there, these things click click on and stay there, and it don't. They don't come off easily because that zip tie is in the way. To get that connector off, you could cut that zip tie and then you'd be able to easy, easily squeeze where I'm squeezing and then the connector would separate. I didn't actually do that. I um, I, uh, I didn't want to cut the zip tie and uh, so what I did was I took a standard screwdriver and put it in between this tab and the new connector that's not shown on there and I just gently pried this tab away until I could slide the connector in. I did that on both sides and now I don't have to uh, with that zip tie, it's ready to go. Um, okay, so uh, now you've got the panel down, you've got the panel down, and you've got the front exposed. I can't remember. Yeah, there there might be one or two screws. There might be one screw on the front panel down near the bottom. You'd see them if there are. I can't remember. I'm gonna have to figure that out in a minute when I put it back together. And there's a screw on the top as well. Take those screws out, and as soon as you take that out. The drum is gonna. The drum may. Uh, the drum may drop down just an inch, but it's not going to go very far because it'll rest on the the blower motor. So that gets the front panel off, and uh, then to get the dryer drum out, I've seen many videos that say, in a very easygoing voice, just lift the drum. Uh, oh, take the the belt off the pulley in the back of the motor, and um, there's an idler pulley that's spring loaded, so you got to push that pulley against its spring tension and then lift the belt off. So you get the belt off. Uh, a lot of people are saying, reach in the back and use the belt as a handle to lift the drum up and out. Well, if you see my other video, it shows the ball and socket um, that that's behind this area. And uh, I did everything they said and lifted, you know, lifted the drum from the back and it wouldn't come out of that ball, uh, ball socket. The ball wouldn't come out of the socket. The ball is stuck to the drum and the socket is stuck to the, the back of the uh, dryer housing. And that just wouldn't come out, so uh, I am a reasonably strong guy, and I couldn't lift it, so I started 
hitting it with my hand, like the palm of my hand up near the back, still couldn't get it out. And uh, so what it ended up doing is taking off these three screws, and then the dryer will come right out, but the ball socket mechanism is still stuck. The ball is still stuck in the socket then. By these three screws, you've just let the ball stay in the back of the dryer. So anyway, get the drum out of the way, and then I took a hammer and just gently, I mean, it's not shown here, but I just gently hammered up the from the bottom of the ball socket and just popped right out easy as can be. So I wish I had done that in the beginning instead of banging on my hand and making it sore. So uh, once you get the uh, drum out, then you can do whatever maintenance you need to do on there. I do have a second video that shows how to do the maintenance and replace any wearable parts. Um, when I went to put it back, I had a heck of a time getting the old ball in the new socket or carrier bearing as it's called. It just I just couldn't get it to fit in there right. I tried ten times and I had the drum in and out ten times. And uh, taking the drum in and out was kind of a pain because uh, not only do you have to have clearance on the side of the dryer right here in the drum, but this thing right here got in the way. It's a, it's a thing that prevents the dryer from falling out. Anyway, it was a real pain in that. I just took the one screw off the top here and removed that just temporarily. And then I could get the dryer drum in and out. Uh, that still, uh, after 10 tries, I said, okay, or, you know, a few tries. I said, okay, let's take the top off. And uh, the top, I didn't want to take it off because I thought, oh, why take it apart any more than you need to? I had uh, six screws that I had to take off, and the top came off easy as can be. And then once I could see the ball on the back of the dryer drum going in the socket or the carrier bearing in the back of the dryer, it dropped in first try. So I'd recommend taking the top off, and, uh, and then you can drop it back in during reassembly. Okay, that talks about how to get this uh, thing apart and back together, and I hope you fix your problem. Bye-bye.